In my most recent video, I made the comment that Aragorn's short bow is not a historically accurate medieval longbow in The Lord of the Rings. And I received a whole lot of really helpful comments about that. And this is not an attack on anyone who said those comments. I'm seriously very grateful for that because this is a community where we're trying to learn new things. So all of those comments are very, very helpful. And this is also not necessarily a defense of my point of view, but I just want to expound on that statement because I think it's a really interesting topic. So I'll start by saying I've actually seen lots of different things, which has been very interesting to me. There are people that are saying that there is direct historical precedent for short bows existing uh, in the medieval period, and then there are people that say that actually that's a myth and there are sources that confirm that. So I'm going to do a lot of research and, and, and found on both sides, but I'm going to go ahead and say that yes, generally I know that short bows have existed in places other than like Mongolia and for the Native Americans. But I want to just explain why it is that I think Aragorn's bow is based off of a plains bow or a Comanche system. And it's not just the length of the bow that dictates that. And I'm very much looking forward to hearing uh, what everyone has to say in the comments. I didn't plan on making this video, but it's just, it's just an interesting conversation. This is a conversation starter. So here is my thought process. And I am, I am making a bow actually modeled after a Comanche style bow with the intention of using it uh, like Aragorn does. And there won't be a video on this because I am not an experienced bowyer. I have no idea what I'm doing, so there's not really anything I can add. But my Patreons will have uh, a video about the finishing process of this just for entertainment purposes. So something that was pointed out to me, which again I'm very grateful for, is that in the Bayou Tapestry a lot of the archers appear to be using short bows. And I've seen that you can debate in the comments whether or not we can take that to be directly historical accurate or up to artist interpretation. I'm going to take a little bit of both sides. Something that I actually had never noticed before was not necessarily the size of the bows, but actually that a number of the archers appear to be carrying arrows in their bow hand, uh, which is something that I didn't ever think about happening in the medieval period, but there is an artist's rendition of it. Now, if we're going to start analyzing the various intricate details of things, I want to compare the Bayou Tapestry archers directly to Aragorn from the Lord of the Rings. If we look at the Bayo Tapestry, the archers that are carrying arrows in their bow hand are carrying them with the arrow head up, with the point up, and the fletching is on the bottom. If we look at this picture of Aragorn from the Fellowship of the Ring, where they're about to fight the cave troll in Moria, Aragorn is actually holding his arrows with the fletching up and the arrow heads down. If we look at the Bayo Tapestry, we also notice that a lot of the archers from the Bayo Tapestry are actually shooting the arrows from the right side of the bow, not the left side, which would be uh, traditional, especially for, for the modern styles of archery. But Aragorn is both holding his arrows with the fletching up and still firing from the left side of the bow, which is reminiscent to me of the style that I understand to be the Comanche style of shooting. Based on that information, it appears to me like a Comanche style bow is what Aragorn is using in the movies. And there are other reasons for this as well. The way that he carries the bow, he carries it unstrung in a sheath that goes across his back. And yes, I know that various other cultures also had sheaths for their bows, but it is the actual style of the sheath itself in that the sheath is attached to a single strap and right below that on the same strap is also his quiver full of arrows and he wears that whole thing right on his back. That is also something that I have seen um, as historically indicative of the Comanche system uh, of wearing their bows and arrows. Again, I'm totally open to being proven wrong, but this is just my thought process. I had a couple people that did mention that, yes, short bows did exist in other cultures, uh, like recurves and composite bows, things like that. And my response to that is simply that Aragorn's bow does not appear to be a composite bow. It appears to be a stick self bow, meaning it's just, it's just a single piece of wood that bends and looses an arrow. Um, there's no backing to it, there's no reinforcement, and it's definitely not recurve. It is a D-shaped bow. Um, so yes, short bows existed in other uh, cultures and other periods in time. The Native Americans weren't the only people that had short bows, but that doesn't really negate the fact that Aragorn's bow looks more like a Native American short bow to me than it does look like a short bow from uh, any other period that, that I am personally aware of at this point in time. I just want to be very clear. I don't claim to know everything. I'm just clarifying. So the, that construction also plays a role in my hypothesis. This isn't proven. I haven't seen this in any of the making of or documentaries on The Lord of the Rings. This is just an association that I have made. And I am not the only person to have made this association. Um, this is not an appeal to authority or anything, but I will simply say that uh, Fan Dabby Dozy made a very excellent video, link right here, um, where he also wanted to make a short uh, 
self-bow system, taking inspiration from Aragorn's design in The Lord of the Rings, and the bow design that he chose to use, and he's a much more experienced bow than me, he also chose to go with a Native American Plains bow design. But I'm very excited to see what everyone has to say, because if there is historical precedent for a D-shaped self-bow from the medieval period, I am very much looking forward to seeing that and learning about it. Because to my knowledge, yes, short bows existed in the medieval period. Um, but to my knowledge, they also did not look like Aragorn's bow. If I'm wrong, very excited to learn about it. Um, video coming this weekend, so this was just a short little thing. And in the meantime, I'd like to wish you good luck on your adventures.